and the local Australian resident said that, and she was making up for the fact that she had got lines in the property. That's quite a difficult one to take. It's even more difficult to take when you realise that she's a member of her sister's property, which happens to fall on the same day. <laughs> Um, so I'm totally here by accident. I went to the distillery and I, I expected to work at the local distillery for maybe half a year, but I didn't get a proper job, and that never happened. Um, since then, I spent five years touring the distillery, learning how to make whiskey. During that five years, three of them spent behind the bar at the Scotch Hall Whiskey Society, where I first met the Ruby community, in the shape of Randall, uh, Joe Ryan, Jeremy, and a few of the guys here. Um, and I basically managed to get them drunk. Four nights in a row. <laughs> we ended up doing a taste thing, and that kind of led to a, a really a great friendship with these guys, um, and it led to me coming out to any sort of conference events. Um, and what I've realised is that you guys don't want to hear about yeast stuff. Yeast is boring. Okay, we can talk about yeast later on. What do you guys want to hear about? Is where this stuff actually comes from? You might also be wondering why on earth I brought a gin to a whiskey taste thing. It's not just because not everyone likes whiskey. It's because I think it's one of the best things out there. It is made by Rick Laddie, it's made by the distillery that I made. It was a bit of a thought experiment. So here's a good question for you. How long do you think you've been making whiskey in Scotland? 400 years, 200 years? 20 years. <laughs> Tamara, you do realize that I'm 22 year old last night. That's a whiskey, which is quite out. Bring it back up to the rabbit hole. So, um, we think we've been making whiskey in Scotland actually closer to 800 years. The first record of this relation in Scotland is from 1494. Uh, and that was a guy called Fire John Clark. He didn't he basically order eight balls of malt and first made that when you take. And that's our suggestion we've done it before, because eight bottles of malt is enough to make about two or three hundred bottles of whiskey. Which suggests that I've done it before, it's his first, you know, first time of doing anything, really. <laughs> so we think about 800 years, and I just want to put another argument to bed. We also think we started around about a week before the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in actual fact, the first installation of Scott whiskey actually could have happened on Isla. We, we know that the, the Lord of the Isles probably had the, the distillation equipment and knowledge before anyone else. And that probably did come through Ireland, I will admit. Um, but back then, Scotch whiskey tasted nothing like your refined products. You get a lot of money from these things. Um, we're going through some of the nosing and tasting techniques with you when we get to the actual proper whiskey. 